But we'll see if this perfect pairing, this PB and J, will have what it takes to knock the top seed down into the loser bracket as we get into game number one on Apocalypse. We talked about the double Thor a lot in the pre-show earlier today. This is largely, I think, the favorability of Orb, especially in 2v2. Sandstorm has realized it here recently. Uh, Boomy has always put out a lot of Orb gameplay in the past compared to so many other players. Look how early that stock was. Pugsy completely taken out less than 30 seconds into the game. And this is one of those concerns I had about the Jala, right? Coming in, a base three defense legend has to go into the defense stance because it's doubles, so he goes into four, and it just means he's still very squishy, very killable character. Oh man, that damage really piling up. They managed to get the knockout onto Luna, and they've got the, oh, just shy of the handoff, but Pugsy's in danger. Luna trying to give a little bit of pressure relief, but Boomy was there to cover the recovery. Dive kick, fighting his way back. Pugsy, phenomenal job. I'm thinking Boomy and Sandstorm saw like the six minute game that <gasps> came out from the previous set and said, yeah, no, we're not willing to wait that long. We're gonna make quick work of Pugsy and Luna here. Boomy is still in the orange on his first stock. All of that Thor defense coming into play here. Even though Luna coming in with Taros, Boomy just turned red. We are a minute and a half into the game, and Boomy finally lost first stock. Luna in danger of losing second. Look how far that orb recovery sent Luna. I know he doesn't have a uh, world record on speedrun.com or whatever that website's called, but they're speedrunning this bracket right now. They're trying to speedrun these opponents as Luna oh, is going to no. go down to his final stock alongside Pugsy. As a world record holder myself, I will tell you, real does recognize real here. Just gonna let that one slide on by as Boomy slides back up to the wall after some serious ground pounds that were threatening his life. Pugsy though, keep an eye there. That's the damage building. You see the low defense pushing him into the orange and that's final stock. Weapon toss goes a little bit wide. Oh, GC down heavy. Luna making sure to cover a little bit into the push off column and right along the wall using the down heavy for all of those active frames as well in case Boomy wanted to hesitate or stall just a little bit before touching that wall to mess with the timing. Great target swapping coming out from both red team members. Blue team trying to bring this one back. Pugsy's been able to slow things down, not get taken out as quickly, but Bo Boomy, what a great spot dodge. Hits his teammate, immediate spot dodge to save himself from the punish, and Pugsy's gonna get taken out. It's all left to Luna. Oh, big act punish. side air. Splits him wide, but Sandstorm is Luna off the wall. There it is, the bounce on the wall and the bounce of your opponent on the wall. Easy pick up there for Boomy. They're gonna close that one out. Three stocks on the board. Now, Boomy was living for a really long time, but you saw at the end of the game, he was very much in the red on final stocks. So Luna and Pugsy definitely didn't really give them that one for free, even though it kind of started like it might end that way. Yeah, they definitely uh, started putting in that work. They were bringing it back, putting in that damage onto the double Thors, which is no easy task by any means. But still, at the end of the day, that early lead from the red team was enough to, to be maintained and close out game number one. Man, you see on that, the team damage, over 150 for each team, just showing you how in the thick of it they both were. Neither one wanting to let it up. They want those weaved in and out handoffs for maximum damage to shorten the game as much as possible. Coming into this one, no swaps. We did see some Pugsy Zol previously in Halloween Havoc 2v2 from Moose Wars, but hasn't used that really as an option today yet. It's been all of this Jala. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ooh. look at all this axe work. Sandstorm is getting chopped up. Pugsy with some great swings, doing all this damage. Meanwhile, Luna boxing out Boomy, letting Pugsy oh win gosh, a 1v2 dude. against the world champion. Pugsy, is he gonna get the first stock? Yo! Yes, he is! And is he gonna get the second? Right through that ground pound from Boomy, not even a hesitation, nailed the timing on it, over onto the sword. Oh my gosh, even picked up the other red team member in that neutral light. Luna and Pugsy looking insane here in game two. GC side light, Boomy not able to get back. <laughs> What a complete reversal of how game one went. Blue team just leveling up here. Boomy comes in, swings on the back of Pugsy, but TWK, it's not enough. 
Yeah, unfortunately not. Boomy coming in, turning this around, trying to get these knockouts. Oh, a little bit of team damage. Dude, what was that? He straight up, <laughs> he straight up sidelight and then turn around side air to his teammate. That was like actual <laughs> execution right there that he was like, yep, I'm going to do all of these moves on my boy. I, I, I physically recoiled at just how absurd the decision <laughs> to just combo his teammate was, but a great follow-up from Boomy, and suddenly all of the stocks are even. Just Sandstorm is very damaged. I mean, it might just be like, you know, those buddy cop movies where, like, you got to slap some sense into the partner, and you're like, hey, get your head on straight. And then now they're just phenomenal and hit every shot. That seems like what might have just happened. Honestly, because it's Boomy Sandstorm, I would also give them the benefit of the doubt that Boomy was trying to reposition Sandstorm so that he didn't get punished because he was so <laughs> damaged over there. You see Pugsy come in with a sword side air. That's oh. going to be the KO option. Send Sandstorm over to the center of the stage, not going to be as easy to find that KO. Yo, but Pugsy is going to easily find the D-Light recovery onto Boomy, and suddenly this lead is mounted for the blue team. Potential here, but Luna fights his way back up. Man, both Luna and Pugsy, when they find hits, it's like three or four unanswered ones on heavy damage weapons. That recovery comes through. Actually sent Pugsy down. Then Luna went up, got taken off the top. All of a sudden, this game's getting a little bit closer than you might have expected after Woo! the beginning. It's now one stock apiece for every player in the game. Sandstorm still definitely has the most damage on his stock. You see him wanting to go low, maybe bait someone over. Doesn't quite get the follow-up there. Boomy sent far away. Sandstorm floating in the air, trying to survive. The red team just trying to find those safe hits. You're seeing those just one taps, maybe a little bit of a back off. Boomy goes in, dodges through. Sandstorm gets his teammate. Boomy with the chase dodge up. He gets the help that he needs. He's going to live for a little bit longer. Yeah, that's such a clutch thing that you'll see teams do at this level. You don't need to go and hit your teammate up to save them all the time. You can actually let them hit you and then get the chase dodge off. That's something that you'll see each and every team in this top eight really maneuver for. Sandstorm now in the 1v2, almost taken off the top with that one more dare, even from the ground, definitely will do it. That one was just a little bit up, still KO'd Quick. off the top. Just like Quick that. finish there, Pugsy and Luna on the board, tying up the set one to one. Yeah, really well done from them to uh, do basically the opposite, right? Like they burst out of the gates in the start of game number two, and they just ran with it. And Boomy and Sandstorm were not able to bring it back. Now, here we are, game number three. Of course, no character swaps on anyone. Now you yeah, see they're just the saying, damage. hey, run that one right back immediately. What? What's up? What's going on, Sparky? Luna came in almost three, primarily two, on one, axe damage, and I believe Sandstorm came in primarily on hammer damage. It could be wrong, but I believe that's what it was, which is interesting because Sandstorm has multiple videos up about how much he loves Orb right now, how strong Orb is right now, how strong it is in 2v2 and 1v1. All the characters he's possibly playing right now, except for the Mako, are going to be Orb characters with the Thor possible fate as well. And actually, I was wrong. I got it flipped in my head. All the damage was on Orb, and that's what you would expect. <laughs> All right, so, so if that's what he called out sides. for, that's what you want to look for. Right now he's got the orb in his hand, so that's got to bode well, right? Ah! A little bit troublesome, but he gets back up safely. You see Boomy actually covering all that ground space with that side signature, and both blue team members were stuck spot dodging to avoid it. Pugsy with a D-Light chase dodge down. and Zig still no one going to fall shipwreck with one of the biggest Woo! KO boxes, but not big enough to save Boomy. Sandstorm over the edge, eats a big dare. That's going to be it for him. Boomy now has to find safety in between both members of this blue team. Also grabs a weapon early on. We'll see if Sandstorm can grab one quickly. The D-Light -like gravity cancel neutral heavy does pick up Luna. Not enough to KO off the top. Even that recovery that high in the air wasn't enough to KO an orange Pugsy on a lower defense legend. That side air might be the start. You saw Pugsy dip down below the weapon spawn, able to get over the wall. In comes Luna with the rotation. Oh, and he Man, that was so dangerous. Too. Boomy's options were dwindling. He spent most of his recovery options before Luna tagged him. So making it back to the wall was kind of a 50-50. They definitely burned a lot on that edge guard, and I was worried there for a moment that Luna was going to completely close out that, but he, able to get, he was able to get that wall touch. Still, though, Pugsy, the lowest defense, living the longest on this Jala, but is that side air enough? 
the punishes coming out from Luna have been so good this game. Like, Sandstorm will usually get a counter punish, or Boomy will get a counter punish onto Luna, but a lot of the punishes that Luna have been doing are like KO moves. And even if they don't immediately KO, they completely split up the red team. He's been finding fantastic punishes all the time. Oh, but Boomy with the follow-up off the side air from Sandstorm is actually going to take Luna down to his final oh. stocks, but Boomy's got to live. Yo, you think that was calculated to the UK? I, I, you know, I saw it and I wouldn't put it past them. They have the most creative handoffs, and that would have just been another one in the book. Oh, clutched out of the recovery. Pugsy down to final stock. Luna in trouble. There's the sandwich going for the 2v1. Pugsy back in the mix. A little bit of pressure relief. Luna looking for his punish opportunities here. Not finding what he needs to get the KO, but Pugsy is there right after. Oh! Combo option takes out Boomy Duke. Can Sandstorm win this 1v2? It's going to be a lot of work to do it, but fortunately, Luna is closer to the KO percentage, which is kind of what you want, right? Like, take out the high strength, high de higher defense legend, and then you have this low defense legend that, you know what, you can build up that damage pretty quick on, but Pugs is playing that forward position, Sandstorm getting some hits, but he's not getting them for free. Yeah, I think this is where Sandstorm would really rather have the orb. The hammer, each attack has a lot of recovery time onto it, and he's been getting cut up after each and every one. Oh, Luna's so good. Incredible options. <laughs> Beautiful pickup Woo! there and the weapon toss to finish it up. Luna is so, so good. 650 damage, four knockouts. I got to give MVP to Luna that game. Absolutely hammering away so much damage and just uh, incredible presence on the stage. Every time that Pugsy needed help, Luna was there to bust up whatever was going on. Anytime you need a handoff, Luna's there to immediately convert. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been stated, but it's worth mentioning again, just the follow-ups and the punishes from Luna were on point. So much damage built off the back of Luna, and that's not to discredit Pugsy. Pugsy did a great job outliving most of his opponents, outliving everybody else, doing damage, putting out that sword work, getting that safe damage built up, but you gotta give credit to Luna for being a great partner for him. You talk about that support from Pugsy. You saw the D-Light in-sig that got a KO off the top. You saw the follow-up in the end with the sword side signature off of Luna that got the KO on Nabumi that took him out of the game, which meant a 1v2 that Sandstorm had to play against Luna and Pugsy, therefore giving the blue team the victory. Oh, Boomy this time on the orb getting some early damage. Wait a minute, Sandstorm getting big ground pound into a scoop on Luna. This is a very different setup right at the outset of game number four. Yeah, looking like a different change in mindset from the red team, splitting the blue team a lot further, maybe trying to play to their strength as two strong 1v1ers, but Luna gonna rotate over. Who's gonna fall first? Both blue team members in the red, but both of them get their wall touches, get their jumps reset. Stomp Sider actually doesn't send Sandstorm very far. In comes Boomy, gets the down air for the KO off the top. They could get the KO onto Pugsy here very shortly. We got a hammer and an orb coming from Sandstorm and Boomy. Ooh, Pugsy going in deep with the ground pound. Weapon toss goes just over his head. Whoa! He did it again. Yeah, he snuck that one in there right in front of Sandstorm's face. Sandstorm just a little late on trying to bust it up. Couldn't save his teammate in time. I really think the chase dodge actually helped him out there. Like, Sandstorm had a hitbox there, but because it's a chase dodge down into the end sig, I think Pugsy iframed through it and unfortunately yeah. got away with that one. Boomy and Sandstorm on their second stocks. Pugsy's still living. And that's something that can be really tough to punish because if you think, okay, a D-Light recovery, how do you want to punish that? You punish that basically a little bit into the recovery itself, which is an aerial move. So you jump in the air, go for like a side air to interrupt that. If you're doing a neutral signature and your opponent's jumping in the air, they're not going to be able to punish that because it's on the ground compared to the recovery that's in the air. Boomy in danger, falling, Luna falling on the other side, both of them down to their final stocks. This is precarious. But how is Pugsy still living on that first one? Again, a low defense legend coming in at four because he's in that defense stance and he's outliving high defense legends like two Thors. Pugsy's Yo. doing so much damage. He, he's just built different. You know, this is actual Finn from Bro. the cartoons where his durability just seems inhuman. 
This is absurd. Sandstorm has to get through the four stocks of this blue team. Pugsy still on his first one. If Sandstorm can take out Luna, maybe he can 1v1. He just have to, you know, three stock an opponent. But still, how do you get through this, Sparky? Honestly, even if he does get the KO on the Luna to take him out of the game, which I don't, I don't really know if that's possible the way the blue team is playing, I don't think Sandstorm wins that 1v1 against Bugsy. He's too good right now. Everything he's doing is incredible. I don't know if this clutch power on the Thor, even in the 1v1 situation, is quite there like it is with the Sandstorm Mordex pick or with really any side uh -oh. character. D-Light Ground Pound is going to go Are they for about to one? do it? They've just done it. Pugsy and Luna with a 3-1 victory over Boomy and Sandstorm. Pugsy and Luna are going up into winner's final. Sandstorm and Boomy down into the lower bracket. I, I'm flabbergasted. I didn't even my my brain did not register that that was a they were up two one when that game happened. Holy cow! Pugsy and Looney, Luna with the upset of the century here at the World Championship, and Boomy and Sandstorm now have to make the lower bracket run. That's a guaranteed top three finish for Pugsy and Luna. Look I'm telling you, that, that's kind of the constant, right? Every single year at BCX, we see Pugsy and Bracket. He t ends up teaming with Luna. Brackets get upset. All of that axe damage. Actually, Pugsy did more damage with the sword, but I swear towards the end of that game, that 218 must have been towards the very beginning of the game and then the end of the game. That was the axe bread that made up the sword sandwich that was a victory for this team. Pugsy and Luna, incredible today. I, I can't believe that just happened. We have seen Sandstorm and Boomy go down into the loser's bracket before when you wouldn't expect them to. That fires them up. They're true professionals. They have so much experience. We lost it. He looked like the best player in the world in that moment. He looked so stinking good in that moment. Yeah, experience hasn't seemed to hit the experience curve yet. It's just all up and up, just linear gains. So I'm really excited to see, since this is a double elimination tournament, Maiden Experience are not out yet. They're going to try and burn their way through the lower bracket, same way that your cat is burning through your camera. <laughs> and we will give you a quick update on the lower side of the bracket. Parallel and Tiffany against Walshi and Simba kind of just started about a minute and a half ago. That one's going to be on Pro Brawl Hall. The other one right after that is going to be Experience and Maid versus Lil Cap and I Throw for the top eight qualifier on the loser side. Stingray and Java made it into top eight loser's side, mm -hmm. taking out Taffy and Radish 3-1. Ethan and Zakoi also...